Ryan, let's see, at two weeks old, Ryan was already at an ice rink in a pumpkin seat because his older brother um, is 10 years older. Ryan's the, the youngest of four and his older brother was already playing. So when he came along, he was already being dragged to all kinds of ice rinks. Um, his older sister also skated, but not hockey. And so, uh, yeah, he was uh, sucking up Zamboni fumes and uh, breathing in cold, cold ice since he was a baby. And actually the, the rink where um, both Patrick and Ryan started out is an outdoor rink. So literally from two, two weeks old, he was, uh, he was in an outdoor rink and as he grew a little older, he was in a backpack on my yeah. back over my shoulder watching hockey games. So yeah, day one. Actually had him on uh, skates at a year, um, which is nuts. Now, obviously he wasn't skating on his own, but uh, you know, he did start skating, you know, pretty early and that was a goal. I wanted yeah. to get him on the ice at age one. So we did. <laughs> and then of course, you know, we had a, in our dining room, we had a net that was set up and all the big boys that would come over as the years progressed, you know, would he, that's what he would say, you know, can we play hockey? Knee can hockey. we play hockey? Knee you know, hockey. knee hockey up in the hallway and then, you know, hockey breaking glass in, in our dining room and, you know, all the fun things that happen when you have boys and, and hockey players. And not only grew up with age, but mature into a man. I think a big part of this was maybe part of the advantage of being the youngest, getting to see what older his older siblings went through uh, and what it means to grow up, progress, and go on your own. I think he is very observant. He's very um, he's very uh, conscious of uh, he has a lot of emotional intelligence. So I and I think in a lot of the maturity, especially seeing um you know his brother going off he the old, our oldest patrick he played in oklahoma so that was our first experience of really going off so yeah he broke the broke the broke through so ryan had an easier time of you know, getting sent to minnesota or what or columbus or whatever he built in columbus for a year um i think he he had more experience i think he's uh older for his year older than his years i think he had more experience and knowledge seeing and absorbing that in having older siblings. I'm a proud mama bobcat, right? <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm so happy that he ended up there. It's given us the opportunity to go back when we really hadn't, you know, been back to Athens um, all that much over all the years of running, you know, kids and stuff. So it's, it's been nice for him to take us back there and let us be a part of his journey and share what some of our journey was um, when we were there as well. Really, for me, what is most exciting always, just loving to watch him on the ice and his love for the ice, but is him setting up plays. And, you know, like watching him from, you know, on the other side of, you know, center ice all the way through just being able to vision and, um, and then when that play actually works, I think he's more excited to celebrate his guys and what, you know, their goal than, you know, necessarily even his own goals that I think that's always been a place where he's like a helper kid. That's who he's always been. He's an assist kind of guy just in his natural being. So that's probably the most exciting thing yeah. for me is to, yeah, is to watch him, you know, vision the ice and set, you know, set, set things up. One that was, uh, I think, special for Lori's mom, Ryan's grandmother was, mm -hmm. <clears throat> was, I don't know, was last year, the year before, when we were at the game, Lori's mom got to be there and they scored, Ryan scored right in front of the net where we were sitting. And he turned around and he wanted those to grandma. That was nice. She appreciated it. It meant a lot to her that he thought of her. So that was that was a biggie. Very, Ryan, very proud of, of, of the man you've become. You project uh, the same philosophy on the ice as off the ice. As, as mom said, you're a helper. You see things in people. Uh, you realize 
sometimes what people need or what they're looking for. And uh, we're, we're excited about what you've done. Uh, we're looking forward to what you're going to do next. And it's been one hell of a ride. Enjoyed it from the time that uh, you were little and we, you got kicked out of your brother's locker room to uh, now being, uh, being <laughs> uh, one of the big guys in the locker room. Yeah, I just want to say, right, guy, I, you know, I, I am just so proud of you. Um, you know, I said earlier, I'm a proud mama bobcat. You're, you're, you're my little bobcat. We're, we're all going to be bobcats together, um, you know, forever. Um, you know, this has been quite a, a last two years, um, and you have just um, been amazing, both academically and athletically in how you have managed this. I would say you're a champion um, just off the ice, on the ice, um, in all aspects of life. I couldn't be more proud of you. I love you so much. I can't wait to see where things go um, and be a part of, of the next chapters in your life.